Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let's look at this interesting example which I thought of sharing with you. This is the question which is asked in IIT Ramaya 2016 SAT and shared by my friend Rakesh. Thanks Rakesh for this. So let's go through the question. E is a point and side EAC of triangle ABC. DEF are points on BC AB such that DE is parallel to AB and EF is parallel to BC. If delta 1 is area of quadrilateral DEFB, delta 2 area of triangle CDE and delta 3 area of triangle AFE, then what is delta 1 square divided by delta 2 into delta 3? So what is the approach we will use to solve this problem? The first thing when I look at parallel lines is always I remember similar triangles. So that's the first concept which we are going to use. The second concept is we are interested in finding out the areas here. So we will see what is the formula for areas of similar triangles. Area of similar triangles is nothing but equal to area of similar triangles are in the ratio of square of their corresponding sides. So what we will do first step we will try to identify the similar triangles here. Second step we will try to see how we can express the ratio of area of these similar triangles in terms of the corresponding sides. And once we approach this we will see can we go ahead and try to find out delta 1 square by delta 2 into delta 3. So our first step is to find out where is our similar triangles. So first I have let me write it down here. I know that DE is parallel to AB. So let me first write it down. I will say DE is parallel to AB. DE is parallel to AB. That means parallel lines means similar triangles because corresponding angles are same. So which triangles are similar now? That tells me that triangle CDE is similar to triangle CBA or can we also say that as triangle ABC. Now what we know by that? We know similar triangles CDE and CAB, CDE and CBA are similar triangles and we know two triangles are said to be similar if the corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are in proportion. So let's write down that. So it's CD divided by CB is equal to DE divided by BA is equal to EC divided by AC. So this is what we have. We'll just note it down. Let's go to the other side now. Where is our other similar triangle? We have FE or EF parallel to BC. We have been told that. So let's write it down. We know EF parallel to BC. That means EF parallel to BC. That means A triangle A EF is similar to triangle ACB. And again we know that in similar, tr similar triangles corresponding sides are in proportion. So can I go ahead and write down AE divided by AC is equal to EF divided by CB is equal to AF divided by AB. So this is what we are able to reach. So we have taken parallel sides based on that we know the similar triangles which are similar triangles then we know corresponding sides are in proportion. Now the next point what we have to understand is how to find out the ratio of the area of similar triangles and if you observe very clearly you can see that triangle CDE is nothing but delta 2 area if you look into this is area of triangle CDE is delta 2 and area of triangle ABC is nothing but delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3. That means if I am able to find out the area of these two triangles then I am directly getting delta 2 by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3. So let us see what happens now. Now what we know is area of triangles I will write down here only I will say area of triangle. What's our first triangle? CDE divided by area of 
triangle CBA or ABC, we know that that's equal to square of the corresponding sides. So that should be square of this. Or can I say this is nothing but equal to delta 2 divided by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 equal to AC by AC whole square. We have three of them. Okay, let's go to the other side also. We have AEF, ACB. So can I write down area of triangle AEF divided by area of triangle. We know that it's ACB or ABC anything is equal to again we know that the ratio of area of similar triangles is equal to square of the corresponding sides so again we have this okay now what is this triangle AEF let's go back and see what is triangle AEF triangle AEF is nothing but our delta 3 area of triangle AEF is delta 3 and we know as usual triangle ABC is delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3. Okay. Now what we are interested in? We are interested in finding out delta 1 square by delta 2 into delta 3. We got delta 2 value. Delta 2 by delta 3 we got. Delta 1 by delta 3. But there are so many different sides are there. Which one I will pick? I will pick the one which is common in both. So I will go for EC by AC whole square here when I want to find out delta 2 by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3. Similarly when I want to find out delta 1 divided by delta 1 by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 then I will be using where I have the common AC. So I will just go back and I will use this one. What is the advantage of doing that? Advantage of doing this is two things. One, AC equal to AE plus EC and also you see that here I have EC square, here I have AE square. So if I am able to write down AC as AE plus EC, I see somewhere A plus B whole square formula with A square and B square. So I should be able to find out what is delta, what is nothing but delta 1 by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3. So what is triangle AEF by the way? It's delta 3 not delta 1. So it is delta 3 by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3. So with this uh, let's go now and try to find out what is delta 1 by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3. Remember that delta 2 by delta delta 2 by triangle ABC or delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 is EC by AC whole square and the other one delta 3 by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 is nothing but AE by AC whole square. So I hope this is clear. So let's go to the next step. So we have just written whatever we got. We got that delta 2 by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 is EC square by AC square and we also know delta 3 by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 is AE square by AC square. We have to just find out what is delta 1 by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 so that we can go ahead and finish this problem. So to do that what I will do I will write delta 1 divided by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 is equal to can I say 1 minus of delta 2 plus delta 3 divided by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 is it nothing but equal to 1 minus of what is delta 2 plus delta 3 you know we see that denominators are same so delta 1 plus when I subtract this the denominator will be as AC square here and the numerator will be AE square plus EC square now, when you take LCM, what we will get here, we will write down here. This is AC square minus, minus of AE square plus EC square divided by AC square. So, I will go to the next step and just remember that AC equal to AE plus EC. So, I have A plus B whole square minus of A square plus B square which is nothing but 2AB. So, let us go to the next step and simplify this. So I will have, I will write down AC as AE plus EC whole square 
minus a e square minus e c square divided by a c square and when you simplify this you have a plus b whole square minus of a square minus b square you know that what is left out is 2ab so can i write it as 2 into a e into e c divided by a c square now here we got whatever we want we have three equations now the first one is here the second one is here and the third one is here what you have to do is very simple 1 square divided by 2 into 3 delta 1 my bad what we have to do is 3 square divided by 1 into 2 because we want delta 1 square by delta 2 into delta 3 so let's see what happens now now delta 1 square by delta 2 delta 3 is nothing but equal to delta 1 square divided by delta 2 delta 3 we want to get what we have to do I have delta 1 here so I want to square it up so it will be nothing but 3 square divided by delta 2 into delta 3 so that's nothing but 1 into 2 you simplify that you will have del 3 square 3 square is nothing but 4 into a e square into e c square divided by we have when you square this up we have a c power 4 and here also we have a c power 4 so I can cancel them in denominator I am not just doing that and 1 what I will have from 1 I will have e c square and from 2 I have a e square so they just cancel up and we get our answer as 4 so delta 1 square by delta 2 into delta 3 equal to 4 so how we have done this problem let's recap this quickly so that we can close this we have been given that ABC is a triangle with we have couple of parallel lines we know similar triangles parallel lines are there then there are similar triangles and we have been asked about areas so we have to understand that area of similar triangles are in the ratio of square of their corresponding sides so now when we go here we have to be little bit careful and see we want to get a value here numerical value so what should I think I should think that I should pick which corresponding sides from both the triangles so that they have a relation between them that's where we picked up delta 2 by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 as e c square by a c square and delta 3 by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 as a e square by a c square now just a simple manipulation will give you delta 1 by delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 equal to a plus b whole square minus a square minus b square that's equal to 2ab so i will get 2 into a e into e c by a c square now delta 1 square by delta 2 delta 3 equal to 3 square by 1 into 2 you do that both left hand side and right hand side you will be getting equal to 4 so that's an interesting problem which i thought of sharing with you thanks for your time and support bye for now